Welcome to Health Connect from YRMC. Are you a coach or a teacher or a singer or perhaps someone who just likes to talk a lot and you've noticed recently that perhaps you have some hoarseness or laryngitis that just won't quite go away or perhaps your doctor has diagnosed you with a medical condition such as acid reflux or vocal nodules. If that's the case, then you may be appropriate for voice therapy. We're very excited here at Yavapai Regional Medical Center to be one of the few hospitals in the state of Arizona to now have the advanced technology that enables us to do both a voice analysis, which allows us to measure acoustically the fingerprint of your voice, or video stroboscopy, which allows us to take slow motion pictures of your vocal cords actually in action. This allows us to diagnose whether someone is using their voice incorrectly, or perhaps if they have a medical condition causing the voice problem. It also allows us to make a wonderful treatment plan to try and remediate some of these complex voice issues. Voice analysis allows us to take a small sample of speech to obtain essentially a fingerprint of somebody's voice. The fingerprint that we get then gives us some ideas as to whether or not a voice is healthy or if there may be some problems going on. The nice thing about this is we can also do this both before and after therapy to help the patient understand the progress that they've made. Let me demonstrate what we obtain when we do a speech sample. We're going to take a short recording of the voice and you'll see it as it is printed out on the screen. Ah. So this gives us our acoustic sample of the voice that we then analyze for the parameters. So we've just finished taking our speech sample and what we have across the top is the fingerprint of the patient's voice. What that enables us to have then is a picture representation uh, that tells us how their voice is, if it's healthy or as we see here with the red triangle, that there might be something not quite right with this patient's voice. The other information that we can pull up in the box here is the objective data of the fingerprint and that will give us the information both before and after therapy to see how their progress is coming along. If you do have any concerns that you may indeed have a voice problem, the best course of action is certainly to see your doctor first, preferably an ear, nose, throat physician. He can do a diagnostic and if you do need some therapy, he would refer you over to the outpatient therapy department at Yavapai Regional Medical Center.